Hello and welcome to Tenable, hosted by me, Joel May, and my co-host today is... Mitchell Lewin. We haven't got Warwick Davis today, but Joel May is close enough. Yeah, my height and um, I am short, so yep. Cheers. That, we'll start this one off with a joke. It's very derogatory, we- that, actually. Very unethical. <laughs> oh, ethical. Here we go again. Yep, get it in. Straight from the start. Anyway, yeah, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Um, would you like to explain what Tenable is? Because, to be honest... I will. Other um, than until about 20 minutes ago, I had no idea what this was. So Yeah, a bit of a, a, a shot in the dark. We didn't really know what to do here. So I thought about doing a Tenable on the podcast. One game show that you don't really have to see anything for, so you guys can play this at home. Tenable is a game show hosted by Warwick Davis, and we will host it to each other today. So you can join in. I will be asking Mitch a series of questions. Mitch will be asking me a series of questions for the other person to answer as a top 10 list, basically. And you've got to get it within um, so many tries. You, you'd theoretically have 13 tries because you get three lives. So even if you... Unless you get it straight away. Well, actually 12, isn't it, technically? But yeah. Yeah, unless you get it straight away, which you might do. Um, so, nah. for example, uh, I might say um, <clears throat> the top, top 10... 10 Grossing um, films. Yes, or I was going to say Beatles songs because you might do that one, but I will give them an example that isn't that one. Oh, okay. So, for example, Beatles songs. And if Mitch was to guess, like, yesterday, yep, tick, that's number three, da da da. Yellow Submarine. Yep. Let it be. But. Twist and shout. Get, exactly, if you guess something else that isn't on the list. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let me give you another one. Uh, Go on. What's not going to be on the list? Come. Together. No, I was going to say. Um, Lucy in the Sky, uh, Full of Diamonds. No, I was just trying... To be fair, I was just trying to think Should of an answer, a song that wasn't a Beatles song, and my mind can't think of anything other than Beatles Supermarket songs. Flowers. Yeah, that one, that'll do. That'll do, yeah. yeah. We were actually talking about funeral songs, and that's one that came up. Yes, I. the first thing I googled when Joel said, pr- presented this idea to me was top ten funeral songs, and then I googled the list, and I was like, ah... Joel probably is not going to know many of these. And he actually surprised me. He knew about three of them. So Yeah, yeah, there you go. So I wouldn't have any round. at my funeral. I'll have all of them at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, would you wanna, do you want to kick it off? Do you want me to ask yes, you one please. first? Or do you want to ask me one first? No, I'll kick it off. I'll kick it off strong with... Oh, God. Sorry, I blew the mic then. Um, I would like to know Mitchell Lewin. I'm going to be so bad at this. Yeah. From visualcapitalist.com. Cheers. The top ten animals... Or things on the planet, animals, so living beings that kill humans annually. What are the top ten? Mitchell Lewin. So it's when have you already said top ten things or living creatures that kill humans specifically? Yes. Humans, so not other animals annually. I can give you stats <clears throat> as well. It's got to be <clears throat> humans themselves have got to be on this list. Humans are number two. Number two. Do I get any figures, or are you just going to give uh, me... four hundred thousand? Jesus Christ! As number recorded. two. Wow, number yes. two. Very big, very high. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm going to go tigers. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh. Wow. Tigers t- are not on the wow. list. Wow. Sorry. Wow. Um, that no, has I'm... blown his mind. Just for clarification, are yes. sea creatures in this list as well, or is it just land animals, or is it all? Is it? All, I'm presuming it's all animals. It's it's all animals of all different shapes and colors and all that and very I'm ethical. Be so list. bad at this, man! I'm so bad. My brain is, doesn't Mitchell's work this uh, quick. Tiger comment. Has anyone out there seen the Tigger movie? Also known from I've, Winnie I've the Pooh, it. the spin-off. It is actually oh. better than Winnie the Pooh. No, I've watched Winnie the Pooh the movie in wait, the cinema when it came out. Yeah, the Tigger movie, mate. Yeah, never yeah. seen it. Yep, never seen it. Anyway, um, back to this list. So I've got humans so far. And they were humans two. are number two. You have two lives remaining. Oh my god. Um, if Mitch uses his other two lives, we will keep going. Yeah, because um, <laughs> this is awful. But he will. You'll, lose, you'll, you'll so. all be listening at home, going listing loads, and I'll listen to this back in a few days and go, "Why <laughs> didn't I think of this? Why didn't I think it's of this?" Very true. It's very but true. Right now, sat here, I can't think of any. All I can think is shark, and I don't really want to say shark because the number of sharks that kill humans every year isn't actually that high mm. compared to stats that are believed. So is for not- that reason alone, I'm going to say sharks. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh. I told you! I told you! Strike two! Oh, this is bad. So I've got to get nine correct answers now. In, yeah, one life, yes. <clears throat> I'll fill the gap by speaking in some French. Uh, le petit pois. No! We said Et one episode where you didn't speak French. Le tête. Right. Um, le foot, Mbappe. What? Poulet, what animals? Poulet breast. Uh, insects counted as animals. Yeah, I I would say they're living. 
Wouldn't you? Oh, it's living, isn't it? It's not animals. It's living creatures. <clears throat> Snakes. Snakes number three. Thank God. Snakes number three with 138,000 annually. Thank God. 138,000. Those really, little I, legless this is, bastards this... killing everyone on planes. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Jackson can't get around them enough. <laughs> yeah. oh, I've, wanna... I've had it with these snakes <laughs> on this motherfucking plane. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was going to say that too, but I didn't want to swear. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Back to the Talk Shrimp podcast. Um, I don't take this as my answer, but I really want to say elephants. Don't take that as an answer. Um, I'm, I'm leaving that as a storage answer. Uh, that's yes. a really like way stored an one, answer. Think... It is a new idea I... in Tenable. <clears throat> I'm going to list... email Warwick later. I'm going to list a few that I debating saying right now. Yes, I've got elephants. I've got rhinos. I've got hippopotamuses. Hmm. Then I'm thinking birds. I'm thinking like eagles. Hmm. <sighs> it sounds like the song in the Wizard of Oz. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm just gonna have to say elephants. Elephants are number eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. Elephants are number eight with six hundred human fatalities per year. Six hundred. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of elephants on the planet. Surprisingly so. I really want to say cows as well, but I don't take that as my answer. I really want to say cows. Cows. Because I know that oh, there's more. Is it? Is this? Don't quote me on this fact. I'm quoting something out of my head that I did. Is there more real. cattle than There's it, more humans. De- humans that die to cows than there are that humans that die to sharks. Oh, possibly. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised at that because you're around them. More, I could but... be wrong. But... I think there's more cows on the planet than humans, but I might be wrong with I'm that. I'm taking so. too long on this. Um, anyway, so what have I got so far? I've got humans, humans, snakes, and elephants. What the hell's number one? Yeah, what is number one, eh? Aliens. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> um, how are humans not number one? <clears throat> I really want to say spiders, but I don't know if that's... Do you, do you want... Uh, not a clue, but because we're on the podcast, I will <clears throat> say this. Yeah, go on then. Why not? One of these animals is... Uh, as, as we've we've publicised in the past, uh, our favourite animal. No! Dogs can't be on this Dogs list. Dogs are on this list. Oh, really? Dogs are number four. Wow. 59,000 per year. Wow. But let's be honest, how many dogs are at a year? I don't know, more than that. I personally feel like that is fine. That's, I can deal with that. That's a yearly number. A annually, how many? 59,000. A year? Yep. Are killed by dogs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that can't well, be 50, right. is it 52 weeks in a year? Yeah. So, that's... A lot, a lot a week. Is that <laughs> yeah. a thousand? A over a, a thousand a week? Yeah, it's over a wow, thousand. over a thousand a week. Feral dogs. Yeah. Or XL bullies in Birmingham. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, is that too soon? That's too soon, isn't it? No, because it's called the bull ring. It's called the bull exactly, ring Exactly, and that's so. why I made that joke. And now is the answer <laughs> bull an answer? Uh... <laughs> no, I'm done. You are done. Oh, I thought. I... <laughs> no. Do you, me, do you want me to give you hints for some of them and then try and guess? Yeah, them? go okay. on then. Can I? Hold on, hold on. Mm. I'm going to throw some of the answers I had. Yeah, Hippopotamuses. Hippos are number nine. God Five hundred. Cows. Cows are not on this. Wow. List. Okay, yeah. I'm not surprised by that. No. Can I say eagles or birds or like? Uh, eagles or birds are not on this list. Okay. Um, um, what other ones did I have? Think of tigers. Lions? Yep, lions are tenth with two hundred. I'd see tenth. That I wasn't mm. going to say lions because I knew it wasn't that high. So that, that's ten, nine, eight. So what's seven? Seven is something that does live in the water. Do you know what? I was just about to say something like a jellyfish or something. No, like that. Uh, bigger. A stingray. Teeth. Shark. I said shark. Smaller. Well, hmm, equal. Piranha. No, bigger. You uh, can wear them on your feet too. Shrimps. N- no, no. <laughs> um, I don't know. Crocodiles. What? Oh god! Of course, a thousand deaths a year. Of course. Um, oh. Next one is something that um, is smaller than crocodiles. Um, there's, I would say, more of them on the planet. Um, think of the insect variety. There's your hints. Spiders. Nope. Ants. Nope. Bees. No. Nope. Wasps. No. Nope. You guys got they it at home fly. yet? Huh? They don't fly. Um. I don't know. You would also say that the rock is their king. That is phenomenal by me. Absolutely exquisite. Stupendous. 
The Rock yep. would be their king. The Rock is their king, as in Dwayne what? Johnson. Yeah. What? Because The Rock once played the Scorpion King. Oh, we want the answer yeah. Scorpion. Okay. Yeah, Scorpion. Nice. 3,300 per year. Wow. Uh, number five is an interesting one, because I don't know if you'd get this, but Assassin Bugs. Okay. It's an interesting one. 10,000 a year. Dogs are what, four. What, what's the definition Snakes are of an Assassin three. Bug? Humans are two. What's number what one? Number this one. Is the, what, that's a big one. Think of, Have you uh, got it at home yet? Oh, give you a chance. Before Clue, number one coming up. Clue. Comic Relief. Comic Relief. Nets. Mosquitoes. Yes. Wow. Yes. 725,000 humans per year. Wow, that's that's ridiculous. Yes. That's crazy. That is mental, that, isn't it? I would have never thought of that. I, I might have got all of them, <clears throat> maybe the assassin bugs. Yeah. Right? I wouldn't have ever answered with an assassin bug, but no, I don't think I would have ever said mosquitoes to be honest. So no, but there you go. So that, crazy. That, well done, well done, Mitchell. You are um, well. I'm Useless. one up at the moment. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm, you're yeah. going to get all three. I'm going to get none to be honest. Maybe, maybe. But we'll see. Time to prove your Atters. taste in biscuits. Advertisement break. No, 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 no. No. Sorry. no, 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 no. Time to prove your knowledge in biscuits. I do like a bicky. I want to know, according to betterbiscuits.com. Oh, the best-selling biscuits. The best-selling biscuits. Yep. Wow. Are we just talking <clears throat> Britain or je- over the world or what? Um, I will head to betterbiscuits.com right Better now. Betterbiscuits.com. Confirmation um, followed. If their sources are, I to be honest, have no idea. Okay, we'll just go for it. <clears throat> so we go in. They uh, are based in London. If that's any consolation okay. of what, if if that can help in any way. So we go in. Um, are we going I'm brands gonna... or specific biscuits? That's the only thing I want to know. So if... On this list, there are brands and biscuits. Okay. Uh, number one, we're going to go... Well, not number one, but the first guess. We're going to go with custard creams. What's the noise you did? Da, 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 da. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wow, no custard creams. Custard creams are not there, on this are. list. No. Uh, okay, we're going to go generic because of America. And I'm going to be hurt, like hurt if this isn't on there, really, because... Yeah, cookies. <laughs> no, <clears throat> absolute bullshit. I call bullshit on that. <laughs> Americans eat loads of cookies. That that is their biscuit. It's not on this list. This is ridiculous. I will say, ridiculous. this is quite a controversial list. Yeah, it must be. It is. Well, we'll go with. Okay, just the, the, a normal digestive biscuit. If that's not on there, I you have got it. digestive as number five on this list. Five? I thought it'd be higher. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I will say, mm. my hint to you now that you've only got one life last. There are some controversial answers on here. Okay. Well, we're gonna go with Oreo. Oreo is number four on the list. Yeah, I thought. I'm taking be... a classic vanilla Oreo as your answer. That yeah, was number four on the list. Yeah. Oh, it must be another Oreo. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll we'll store it anyway. I don't really want to guess Oreo again. Um, we're gonna go to Scotland now, and we're gonna guess for. Um, shortbread. It's a swing, and it's a hard miss. It's ridiculous. It's it's a ridiculous that list. I'm going to be honest. Ridiculous. Betterbiscuits.com have absolutely thrown yeah. you through a loop here. Okay, shall, no. I, shall I guess some like you? Go on did? Then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. We'll go with the chocolate hobnob. Chocolate hobnob, milk chocolate hobnob is number three on the list. Yeah, it's it's a good biscuit. Bourbon. Bourbon is not on the list. Wow. I'm outraged. I was wow. shocked to read this. I know. Right, I we know. are emailing them. Yeah, I know. That is ridiculous. I, I am absolutely livid with that. Yeah. Um, a nice biscuit. Nice biscuit is not on what? the list. Yeah. A nan biscuit. No, nope, nan biscuit that is, is not on the list. ridiculous. A jammy dodger. Jammy dodger's not no! on the list. No. Not on no. the list. I told you, mate. Think Ludicrous. Con- think controversial. That is a big hint. <sighs> a ginger nut. Ginger nut's not on the list. What? Seriously? Think about it. I'm saying controversial. What is controversial? A ginger nut? No, no, Ron no. Weasley. Think, think, it's not on there. Think think of what is a biscuit and think, is it even a biscuit and is it controversial? A Jaffa cake. Jaffa cake is right, number I'm done. two. I'm done. I don't want to number know the rest. Number two on the list. Two. That is mental. Yeah. Although I would like to say I do like a Jaffa cake. So you've currently got number two, which is Jaffa cake. Number okay. three, which was a milk chocolate hobnob. Yeah. Number four, which was an Oreo. Yeah. Digestive biscuit five. Number five was cool. a plain digestive. That was, I, I think believe it, that's it? all you've got so far. So you're missing number one, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten. Wow. Um, well, I may as well carry on with the Jaff cakes. There's a fig roll on there. Fig roll's not on that list. Oh, I'm surprised. Fair, I'm not surprised. Uh, well, well, I am I'm, surprised that. Custard yeah, cream's yeah. on. Um, think outside the box of what a, a biscuit would be. Malted milk. Malted milk's not on the list. 
Well, outside the box? Think outside the box of Kit what? Kit Kat. Kit Kat is on the list. That is ridiculous. It's, not, it's, it's not number six on the list. On it's not a biscuit. It's a chocolate yeah. bar. That's ridiculous. See, I'd argue here. I'm going to give you one because I think it was a bit of a stupid answer. Mm. Number seven on their list is a chocolate wafer. See, my answer would be, mm. isn't a Kit Kat just a very good chocolate wafer? Yeah, I would say so, but I'd say Kit Kat. If, if you they did, if I a asked you for... for a biscuit and you gave me a Kit Kat, I would be very happy. But I'd go, that's not a biscuit. Yeah, they did put a brand down for the chocolate wafer. I can't remember what it was. Wow, it was a brand that I recognised, but I can't remember now. God. So you got eight, nine, ten, and one left. Uh, There's only one real answer for one that you haven't said yet, and it is probably the best biscuit, and you haven't said it. Well, it's a chocolate digestive. Chocolate instead digestive of, instead is of a chocolate number hot one. It's the yeah. same equivalent near enough, but yeah. No, different biscuits, mate. An Oties. Oties isn't on the list, no, no. biscuit. Um, we'll go with a general hobnob. Just a normal hobnob. No, hobnob is not on the list. No. Um, butter biscuits. Butter biscuits not on the list. That's ludicrous. They, they are fantastic. Um, <sighs> There's only one real answer that I'd say is... I might as well keep going stupid, might I? A tea yeah. cake. Tea cake is on the list. Uh, rid- oh. Num- oh. Ah. Number eight, mate. Number eight. I'm ludicrous at that. that yeah. is... oh. Number nine right is mental to me. I Wait, would not class it a as a biscuit. I'd class it as a breakfast bar. What? Like an Actually, no, it's not a breakfast bar. It's like, it is a sweet treat, but it's not a biscuit. Oh. It's not a biscuit. It's by Kellogg's. And I, I didn't, I did know it, but it's Like not. a breakfast bar? No. It, I should I just tell you? Because I don't think you'll ever get it. Go for it. It is a breakfast because it's the rice. You know them rice crispy squares. Oh yeah. Them That's the marsh- marshmallow flavored. No ridiculous. Betterbiscuits.com. Take it up with them. Yeah, I, I, I am. Number That's ten. Ridiculous. Go on. It's a good biscuit. I can't believe you've not said it. Nan's favorite biscuit. What's your Nan's favorite biscuit? You open up the biscuit tin mm. and there's a load of them. They never really go stale because they always feel like they're stale anyway. What? Just a coffee biscuit? No, 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 no. A uh, nice, lovely. Do you want me to tell you? Go on. Rich tea biscuit. Yeah, that's fair, actually. That's that's quite a good holding biscuit, yeah. It's a good biscuit, mate. It's CDM, that one. Yeah. I will say, there are some controversial answers, and I'm sorry to have given I'm you that one. But I thought, ridiculous. do you know what? I'm going to give you the controversial one. I thought one. I was going to go nice and easy with the... the I know. As soon as she said custard ridiculous. cream, I was like, oh no, here we go. Yeah, that is ludicrous. And no. then, like, I'm sorry to the Scots, like... Yeah. A tea cake's in it, but a shortbread isn't. Apparently so, mate. Apparently Ridiculous so. Ridiculous behaviour. Apparently so. Well, anyway, it's, um, it's what all. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, right, Mitchell Loom. Go on then. We're going to go it over to um, Spotify. Throw it out. If anyone doesn't know what Spotify is, uh, Nana Pat uses my Spotify to listen to all the music. Ooh. Also known as Sam Fender Post Malone. Probably. She does, in fact, love Post Malone. Hasn't listened to his new album yet, but she will soon. Probably, Spotify, probably most streamed songs. I was going to say, I probably wouldn't admit to that on live on air, but there we go. Why not? Well, just, you you know. can have a duo Spotify, can't you? True. Thank you very much. But I'm free. sure you don't. I do now. <laughs> I got an email from Spotify. <laughs> I, actually, I uh, can show you, you okay. this. No, like, no, no, it's fine. Exactly I'll here. No, 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 no. I, I want to guess the 10 no, no, most no, no, listened no, no. to songs on Spotify. End soon, two months of duo at no extra cost. That was yesterday, and I did this yesterday. There you go. I stand corrected. Yeah. Prior to that, yeah. I'm not going to talk a lot about prior to that. Anyway, um, so I would like to know, Mitchell, the top 10 most streamed songs on Spotify as of right now. Wow. As of right now? Yes. <clears throat> Ever, by the way. Like, not Ever. Just, not just right now. So you'd be like, oh. On know, Spotify. So what? Sabrina Carpenter. Can I Google when Spotify was first released? No. Okay. I'll give you, I'll probably say it's been like 2010, something like that. It's been around for a good. I'd say it's years. older than that. I'd say 15, it's early, late 90s, I'd say, Spotify. Really? I'd probably say so. Well, Can anyway. you find out for me now? I actually want to know when Spotify was released. Well, yeah, so But don't so. tell me till the end. Um, what I think it's going to help you anyway. I'm going to say Bad Guy by Billie Eilish is my first answer. Um, Spotify was released in 2008. Oh, wow. Okay. Point to Joel. Um, Billie Eilish, what? Bad Guy. Bad Guy is... Not on the list. Wow! Damn it! I thought I thought that was a shoe. Not a bad shout. That I thought good, that was a shoe, and I thought that'd be like a one. seven or an eight. Yeah, I think you'll probably you can easily get six, seven out of these. Oh, great! Easily. So I'm not gonna get not gonna get shrimpable you, anyway, am I? You might do shrimpable. There you go. There's the plug. Don't um, sue us, Tenable. Don't sue us, Rob Warwick. We're just having a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, what's gonna be the most listened to song on Spotify? Is it gonna be an old song or a new song? So I don't know what to do here because I'm like, all these are fairly new. 
That's what I would. That's what would have been my guess. Yeah. I wasn't. Th- oh, this I was... isn't a massive clue, and it's not like it's giving you what twenty four years, but from two thousand onwards. See, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking songs clue. like Yesterday and all that lot, and <laughs> Imagine, by, like them sort of songs. But I was like, Oh, my troubles seem so far away. I was thinking Hey Jude and Sweet Caroline as well. So I, did, I am glad you no, said that. Looks as though we're here um, to stay. Oh, I believe what would be. Those Would a One Direction song be in there? No, it's got to be more single artists like Harry Styles and maybe Taylor Swift. <sighs> What's Harry Styles' biggest song? Exactly. I don't know what his biggest song is. Oh, no. As it was, is that his biggest song? <sighs> maybe. I'm, I'm going to go As It Was by Harry Styles because I, I don't think it will be the, the whatever, the key, not Kiwi. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon sugar. sugar. Hey. I don't think that will be on there. It might, it might be wrong, but I'm going to go As It Was. If you were to guess watermelon sugar, you'd be wrong. As well, it I was, didn't, so I'm glad four. you give me that for free. Yeah. Well, as it was, is number as four. Ro- yep, as it was, is number four, with, I think, 3.4 billion streams. Billion. There's about 1.3 wow. million a day. Oh! The weekend. Uh, blinded by... What is it? Blinded by the light, Blair? Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. Wow, hey, that lockdown song. classic. Yeah, it that's what I'm thinking. has reached number... One. One. It had to be. 4.4 billion streams, wow. averaging 1.5 million per day. Wow. Wow, wow, That's wow. That's a lot, isn't it? Um, surely there's got to yeah, be a Taylor so one Swift one and four you have got. Well done. There's got to be a Taylor Swift one on there. There's got to be. Is there a Tay-Tay? Is there not? But what song? See, I would say Love Story is probably the... Her, probably her longest song that's had its long, like still listened to today, which Maybe. would have that racked up more numbers than a new one that's done... Really well, but then I wouldn't know what new song to True. guess. Um, just before we, we maybe? carry on, uh, Mitch's Ooh. first guess, being Billy Eilish bad guy, is sat at number 30, just ahead 30? of Bohemian Rhapsody. Wow! So that's not giving you like massive clues and wow. stuff, because it's quite out of there, but yeah, 30. I thought that'd be a good guess. I thought that one just popped off mad when it was released. Yeah, yeah, I think it did, and it was in sing, so it's quite low, mm-hmm. really. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I am thinking uh, that PSY song... But I'm not going to say it because I knew that was really popular on YouTube, and I don't what, think it, I don't think it would have followed over oh, on. Yeah. I don't think it would have followed over on Spotify as well. Mm. Oh God, what do I say? I've got to say a Taylor Swift song. I'm gonna have to say Love Story. I'm gonna have to. Taylor Swift Love Story is not tenable. Damn it! It is not on there. Sorry. I want to ask for a hint and ask: Is there another Taylor Swift? song I can give there? you a hint. Is there any Taylor Swift songs on there? No. Hmm. Crazy. Um. All these artists. Come on, Swifties. Come on. I think. Are uh, oh, they, they are currently active. A few of them have not done a lot in a while. Is the best way I could put it. Ooh. So, see now I'm thinking like Ariana Grande and people like that. Hmm. Um. Ooh. The weekend was a good one. What would be number two? What numbers have I got so far? Sorry. You know. have four point four billion. That's the that's the number one slot. Yeah. And. Uh, number four, Harry Styles is three point five, so about a billion in between them. Yeah, from number four to one. Is that it? Is that all the only two I've got? Number ten to Harry Styles is very close in theoretical sense. It's not. It's it's what? Uh, I've only got two. Wow. Um, it's about a couple hundred million. So I've got two right to... and two wrong. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. yeah. Um. So what we're learning is me and Joel aren't very good at this game. Oh, God. Well, no, personally, I feel like I would have been if it wasn't for a stupid website. Take it up, a, mate. All I can a, say... A tea cake. All I can say is take and it Jaffa up. Cakes. Take it up with better biscuits. Hey, Kit Um, Who's this list? Of, oh, it's Spotify, isn't it? I'm guessing, so. Yep, Spotify. Yep. Oh, man. I can't think of any. If you want another clue, I'm going to say lockdown. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why a few of these did quite well. Who remembers lockdown as well? What a strange time. Maybe we'll do a podcast say, on that. As soon as you say lockdown, all I think of is that song where it says, Go to Spark. Are you an either give with it? Well, that one or whatever it is. Go to Spark. Oh, isn't that... Um, is that Willow yeah. Smith and someone? I don't know, but Go yeah. That's um, the new... Crystal Palace centre half, LaCroix or whatever. Yeah, that, that guy. Oh. Yeah. oh, man, I can't think of any. This I'm awful at this. Okay, I'll give you another clue. Is there One Direction song on there? No. No, 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 no. That's your clue. <laughs> Damn it. Um, are most of them like single artists? Like, Yeah. Yeah. It's going to have to be. But I can't think of anyone. Is there another Harry Styles song on that list? No. Damn it. I feel like I already asked that. Is there another 
One Direction artist no. on there. Damn it. I literally can't think of any. I'm awful when it comes okay, to this. Okay, number sort of two. Stuff. Yeah. You've seen live. <sighs> number two. I haven't. Oh. That's oh, Ed Sheeran. Yes. What song though, man? What song would Ed Sheeran like be on there? All I can think of is like Shape of You, maybe. That's probably his like most popular song in terms of numbers, I'd imagine. I'd, I'd say it's one of his most popular, to be honest. Well, like, you saying uh, that is why I'm going to answer with well, Shape go. of You by Ed Sheeran. It is number two. Fuck, is Ed Sheeran point, on there again? Three point nine. Uh, Ed Sheeran is. He's got not. to be. He's not. No. Wow. The next Ed Sheeran song is number 13. That's perfect. Yeah, that's the what answer I would have give, to be yeah. fair. So yeah. you've given me a big hint there. Uh, another hint. Think Nana Pat. Post Malone. It's got to be Post maybe. Malone. For what Post Malone? Sunflower, maybe? That's... Maybe. Oh. It was a big film, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You say that. Oh, that's really... Yeah, that's making the last me... big hint I'm giving I'm going to say Sunflower by Post Malone. Yeah. Post Malone, Sunflower no is way. at 3.4 billion players. Wow. What, number, on that... Spidey, what, what um... number is that one in the list? That is sat number five. So you've got wow. five... Wow. You've got five, four, two, and one. Five, man. That's blowing my mind yeah. out of all of them. Ooh, ooh, I wouldn't have even said that song's that big. Well, I, I know it's big. I think the like... film did it, though, didn't it? A lot know. of people. Yeah. It's the biggest animated film ever, isn't it? So, is it? I, I'm nine times percent sure. You have to wait till our next tenable to find out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to say Birds of a Feather, but I don't think it's got that carried that much yet. Maybe the Barbie song. I'm just stuck thinking like Billie Eilish. I can't think of anybody else. Do a Looper, maybe? Oh, one kiss in solitary. Fall in love with me. Um, I'm gonna have to answer with that. I can't think of anyone else. I'm I'm gonna go do a looper. Uh-uh. Oh, you didn't even let me say what song, but I'm, I would have said one. <laughs> I think I may as well just yeah yeah. Okay, that is your three. Um, so you've got one, the weekend, blind lights. You've got two, Ed Sheeran, Shape of You. Now number three is an artist that last performed at Glastonbury and hasn't performed since. Hmm, Glastonbury. Uh, uh, Florence. No. Shania Twain? He couldn't finish his set at Glastonbury. Oh, he Lewis Capaldi. Yep. Wow. Yep, somebody you loved. Oh, wow. 3.5 Didn't billion. even think of him. Very Is George Ezra on there? No. Damn it. I thought maybe that one that did well on TikTok would have been on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Number uh, green, green, four was Harry Rose. Styles, as it was. Number five, Post Malone, Sunflower. Blue, blue Number six is The Weeknd again with Starboy. Would have never got that. Number seven is Drake, One Dance. Oh, what a song. Yeah. Number eight, Kid Leroy, Stay. The one, the Justin Bieber one? Yeah. Who wrote that song? Charlie Poof? Uh, yeah, or so. Fred again, I or Ed Sheeran, or... You that I never... Yeah. That one. Uh, yeah, number nine is The Neighbourhood Sweater Weather. What the hell is that? I don't know, but there you I go. I want to play it, but I don't want to get yeah. copyrighted. And number ten is Dance Monkey. There you go. Ugh. I told you. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. There you go. But um, for anyone out there who's like, you know, uh, wondering... Number 100 is Adele, Somebody Like You. And that's all I'll say. That's, that's number 100. To be fair, like, though, it's one of them songs that you're not personally not going to listen to. No, that's, that's, yeah, there you go. Probably. Anyway, back to... Um, Over to um, you, mate, and I'm going to throw it into your field of expertise. Yes. Football. Oh, dear. And most yellow-carded footballers Ooh. in the Premier League, according Ooh. to the Premier League's website. Okay, interesting. Um, I will say... There is ten people on this list, mm-hmm. but number nine, yes, is two people because they've got the same answer. They've got they they've got the same amount of uh, same amount. Oh, of so, it's, so it's an, a joint, yeah, record. It's joint. Imagine having so, a joint record on most yeah. yellow cards. So like, there is it, it's out of not, it's out of ten people, but yeah, it's, okay, it's, it's okay. Ten. Ten. Uh, we're gonna go with. One of the Premier League's record holders, I feel, is a good option to go for. So that's Gareth Barry. Do you know what, mate? Can you could you guess how many appearances he's made? I think he's made about five hundred and sixty something. I couldn't tell you. That might be wrong. I don't know. But he's got a lovely number of bookings. What? One, two, three. Oh, lovely! And he is number one on the list one, with one hundred and twenty-three. Yeah, that is number two. Gareth, no, that's number one. Number that is the number one. Number one. Hey, Gareth tenable. Barry. Bang in there. Yeah. Gareth Barry, mate. Uh, Gareth Barry. Um, shrimpable, mate. Sorry. A shrimpable. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll go with. 
I think a hard nut that probably... Oh, would he be there? I'm thinking Roy Keane. That's the person I'm thinking. Am I guessing him, though? I'm going to rattle off some names. Roy Keane, uh, James Milner for the amount of appearances as well. He is just off Gareth Barry, so that's not our worst guess. Um, we'll go with... It. Oh, it's got to be someone who's who's just sort of silly with booking. Book I will someone... say it is Premier League. That's all I'm going to... That's going to be my Just in the Premier League. It's just Premier League. Okay. So, like, don't think um, pre, like, pre-Premier League year. An interesting one would be someone like Suarez, who only spent, like, a season. Someone who's, like, just just a silly booking kind of guy. Adi Bayor or someone like that as well. Um, okay, we're going to go centre-backs. I think I'm going to say Jamie Carragher as my next um, guess. He's not on the list. Wow, okay, mm-hmm. interesting, interesting. Um, okay, so we've got one, and we have one. Uh... It's got to be defenders. It's got to be some sort of like defenders or like a Roy Keane, like a CDM type role, something like that, maybe. Um, maybe someone. There's some, there's some big names in this list, but not big names who come to your head straight away. Okay. For, for obvious reasons of like. Yeah. Some of them are still dotting yeah. around in football these days. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. A lot of them are still dotting around in football these days. Okay. Um,. Okay, big names. I'm thinking, I don't know, in centre mid, like like Paul Scholes or someone like that, or um, Michael Carrick, or like Darren Fletcher. Um, <laughs> imagine Casemiro, one leg Casemiro. As of time recording, by the way, he's just lost three 0 to Liverpool. Anyway, um, <laughs> just have to uh, drop that in there. Oh, screw it. We'll go. We'll go Paul Scholes. He seems someone who's, who's just like he'll score a goal, get an assist, or whatever, but get a book in two. Is that right? Paul Scholes is number five on the list. Wow. Okay. 97 bookings. Ooh, that is that is a lot. I will say, if he got three more bookings, he would be number three on the list. Oh, why? Wow, he would have leapfrogged number four. So, so Paul Scholes and number four are quite close, really. I will say number three and technically number four on this list both have 99. Oh, again, so are like joint, but yeah. Of, yeah, okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether to guess defenders or not. Um... Um, or silly strikers like Adi Bayo or someone like that. Maybe like someone. So oh, like someone like I'm not guessing him, but just get names out. Someone like Tim Cahill or like Mikel Arteta or like. Uh, Looking at this list, three of them are current managers. Oh uh, well, wow, actually, okay. two of them are definitely managers. Wow. One of them's still associated with football and one of them is an ex-manager that I know of. He might still be a manager, I don't well, know. Well, the first two that come to my head are Lampard and Gerrard. They're the, the two, like, manager roles, but then I don't think Lampard's a manager. Maybe, like, Jabby Alonso or someone. Uh, a lot of names being thrown about here. There is, I'm just trying to get on. Maybe, sh- I'm going back to strikers. Maybe someone silly as, like... Uh, like... Like... like Dominic Calvert Lewis, someone new, like a new striker, something like that. Um, is a lot of these still playing or not? None of them are playing. Uh, I think. Well, all, re- all retired. All all retired from professional football playing. Yeah, playing as a as a player. Yeah. Okay, so they're all over like what? Thirty five. Stand something. corrected. I think there's an, another one in here that I've just looked at, who's technically number ten on the list, is still a manager as well. Interesting. But I don't think he's in the. I don't think he's in the English leagues of the top four flights. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, From maybe like memory. an Arsenal player. Um, like a, a Colo Torre or Flamini or, or someone like from, from that sort of instance. Who's a dirty player? Is there any dirty players on this list? I will say, um, this is a big hint, a lot of them are English. I, I'm pretty sure Ooh. all of them are English. Wow. One of them I'm not sure on. Wow. Maybe two of them I'm not sure on. One of them might be Irish. Not sure. Wow, okay. Um, English. Let me just check something. English plays. Okay, the ones that come to my head with record appearances. Someone like Harry Kane, Wayne Rooney type players. Strikers. Do you want a hint? Who just get silly. Bockins, what? One of them is a manager currently in the championship. Oh, Rooney then. Yeah, Rooney. With Plymouth. Rooney yeah. is number two. He has 102 bookings. Wow. Yeah. For a striker, wow. Um, 21 off Gareth Barry. Yeah, so I've got one, two, and four. 
You've got, got five, one, sorry. two, and five. Yeah. yeah, so three, three and four are tied. Gareth Barry, Wayne Rooney, and Paul Scholes. Um, and I've got one. Uh, English, English, English. I've, I've guessed Carragher. Um, I see Terry or someone would be like one of them. We, up me there. and you, I know. I'm not a big fan of. Is it Ferdinand? Rio Ferdinand. That's my next guess. How many guesses have you made? I can't remember. I've I've got one. Uh, uh, so this would be my second. All correct. Oh well, on that night. Uh, uh. Oh, Sorry, I thought I had that I, one. I, too I don't know why I'm building up the anticipation. I don't like Rio Ferdinand to be honest. No. I think he's a bit of a pleb. There you go. That's a shout, isn't it? Um, mm. England. The English has kind of thrown me a little bit with with a lot of the the players like Ashley Cole, someone like that as well. They, I reckon he's. I can't remember him being booked loads, but then again, it's a stupid thing to say. I'm thinking centre mids again, Gerard Lampard. Anyone at home got any answers? In the comments section below, if you listen on YouTube. And no googling. I'm gonna say because your thing earlier, this could this could throw it off. Yeah. Oh, do I say him? I'm gonna say him at the moment, but I'm not saying him. Okay. The idea in my head is Robbie Keane because you said about being an Irish sort of thing. That's the one that I'm. I'm like, people think you know he's not whatever. Uh, I can't even think who that is. Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane used to play for Tottenham and Liverpool for some time. Good player he was. Uh, is it someone stupid like Jermaine Pennant or someone like that? Or um, this is hard. This is a hard list. Um, I think if I if, if if you got the next one wrong and I told you, there'd be a lot of them. You're like, oh god, why didn't I think of him? Uh, oh. There's two on this list who I'm not really sure who are, but their name sort of rings a bell in my head. Okay. Well, I can't get him out of my head. I'm not saying him, but all I'm thinking is John Carew. I can't tell you why. <laughs> I don't um, even know who that is. A stroke for Aston. Uh, he played for Aston Villa for a while. Um, another one, like Ag- Agbomlo or someone like that. Um, I think you mentioned, mentioned his name before. I'll give you a hint. 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 Baines. I'll give you a hint. Gary Neville, Phil Neville. They're good ones. Did you um, want the hint before you give an answer? Go on, go on. The person who is number three. Yeah. We have been in the same same stadium as them, and wow. they were on the touchline as a manager of another team. Oh. That we, as Shrewsbury Town fans, beat in a playoff final. I don't know if he was the manager at the time. A or playoff maybe. final. Yeah. We haven't, we haven't won a lot of playoff finals. This team so who he was the manager of. Oh yeah, sorry, in the semi-finals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lee Bowyer. Lee Bowyer is on the uh, list. Oh, yeah. Dave Lee Bowyer is Bowyer. number three on 99. Yeah. 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 Um, oh. Who's played a lot? Who's played that's, a lot? that's a good way of looking at it. A, yeah. a lot of these, I would the names that I'm looking at now, I'd look at and go, they've probably got quite a few of That's what I'm thinking, someone stupid like Kane or Crouch or like Defoe. Um, Theo Walcott. I think more midfielders. Um, That's my, my next hint. More midfielders. Uh, Michael Carrick. Darren Fletcher. Um, I'm about to give up. I really, I'm struggling with this one. I can't think. Uh, You've got one, two, three, five. Some, something like Beckham maybe? On like 40, 50 somewhere? Uh Everyone has over 85. Look it. Like Ledley King, Jonathan Woodgate, they're not midfielders, but they're still, they're still other ones. Uh, I, know, I think I'm going to have to push you for time. Joe Cole? Is that your answer? Your final answer? No, but sure. <laughs> I'll go Gerard, just a simple one. Gerard. Uh-uh. Well, that's good news for the Gerard over Skulls fans out there. Another point to Gerard. Yeah. So you got Gareth Barry. That was your last one, wasn't it? Yeah. Gareth Barry on one, two, three. Wayne Rooney on one o two. Yep. Lee Bowyer on ninety nine, joined with Kevin Davis. Oh, okay, yeah. Who had yeah, ninety nine yeah. as well? Paul Scholes, who was your number five guest, who was on ninety seven. So now I'm thinking Kevin Nolan too. <laughs> Kevin Nolan is on this list <laughs> as there number ten, joint 
well, he's number nine. Yeah. Joint with George Boateng, both on yep. 85. Um, I'll go back up. Scott Parker was number six with 92. Oh, player. Robbie Savage was number seven uh, yeah, with 89. That and sense. then the final one he didn't get was Lee Catamol on 88. Oh, Lee Catamol. Yeah, to be a fair. A lot yeah. of midfielders. I'm, I'm annoyed at uh, Robbie Savage. Yeah. I, I thought yeah. that was the one probably. I thought you'd get Scott Parker because I was going down the manager. Yeah, route. not a bad one, actually. Yeah. I was just thinking bigger teams for some reason. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Oh, bigger teams, eh? Well, it depends who you're looking at. He did play full on, mate. Yeah, they haven't won a trophy, so. Yeah. Well, and he managed them. Yeah. Well, it's West Ham, mate. You know, good. Well, Kevin Nolan, you got him because of that. Yeah, no. <laughs> do you, um, want, to, do okay. you want to give me one more, and we'll we might make this episode a bit longer today. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll make it a bit longer. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Well, you got a choice. You've I'm, a, choice I'm enjoying it. Too, okay. You've got a choice. You've got. We've just done a football one. We could continue the football theme with Shrewsbury Town uh, appearance Ooh. holes in League One. Oh, okay. Or we could do the top. 10 grossing films ever well I say grossing films the top 10 rated films sorry on IMDB um, the audience at home are probably going to want me to go for IMDB aren't they but I'm going to go for football players which is every time it's fair. yeah, yeah. Uh, or do I go I feel like I'm gonna, I'd do better on the on the IMDB one well, we could we could rattle through the IMDB ones we could do that as like a little thing for the audience if you wanted to we could squeeze in that yeah go on then let's see I think do I'm... you want to do that first now nah, let's do the shoes. Let's do the footballers. Okay, okay. okay. We might do Football some more balls. tenable at some point. How about that? How yeah. about that? If okay. you're enjoying this, I have the top ten list of Shrewsbury Town. Re- the amount of appearances in League One, just League One, um, oh for Shrewsbury God. Town. Just League One. Yeah, Shrewsbury Town. And here's a big, big clue to kick things off. We have seen all these players play. <laughs> <laughs> Who's broke a hundred recently? Who's broke a hundred recently? Have you got a number of? Have you got the numbers of appearances? Yeah, you have got the numbers. Yeah, this is well. This is can on I ask eleven v eleven dot com? There you go. Can I ask a, a a bit of a clue to start off with? Are they all over a hundred? Uh, no, the, no, no. I've got to go for Aaron Pierre then. Incorrect. Really. Yeah. He has over 100 appearances for Shrewsbury Town. Does he? Yeah. Oh, he's not on this list. I. This is as. I don't know actually when this is as of. I beg to. That list may be wrong. This is 11 v 11. I'm sure he has over 100 it's appearances. It's interesting to when this list is then, actually. Yeah, because I would also then want to guess Toto Enciala, but I, I would also probably Toto say. Toto Enciala is on this list. He is on that list. Okay. For 65. And that's 10. Ooh. But to be fair, that probably makes sense. Up that's till probably now. about right. That's probably about right. Yeah. So maybe this list isn't far I would off. say this list is probably a bit dated. Yes. Because I think Aaron Pierre has got over that. Let's see if you can still do it anyway. I'll try and find out when this list... Um, um, became... Daniel Udo has to be on that list then. Yeah, he's not. Then it's wrong. Yeah. Because he's definitely got more than Toto and Ciala. Yeah. Ah. I don't the list. I think this list the list is, is fucked. Right Should I just rattle through it? Though? Yeah, go on and rattle okay. through it. Toto Enciala, 65. Paul Parry, 70. Joe Jacobson, 71. Jason Lutweiler, 72. John Taylor, 78. Chris Wheel, 81. Junior Brown, 89. Sean Wally, 100. Matt Sadler, 100. And Abu Agogo, 103. Yeah, that's a dated list. It yeah. was the year that Town probably got promoted. Uh, almost got promoted, I would say that is. Because I think Abu Agogo um, got 100. Three. God, that is dated, yeah. yeah it, that's, a, that's about... Okay, let's see yeah. if you can do this one then. The top 10 films on IMDb. Well, shall I throw it back at you and you do one more? Well, you've just done one for me and I'll do one for you. Well, what one have you got? Let's see what I've got... Hold on, what, what have I got? Which one did... What, what, was, my, what was the other one? Here we go, boys and girls. Yeah. Uh, mine, mine, mine was... Top 10 reasons to be late for work. Oh... Uh, do your one first we'll come back to that one okay, it's, it's sure. a bit of a silly one again mine is. okay let's see if we can get any of these on IMDb these are the top 10 rated I think. Shawshank Redemption it's number one of course it is it's got a 9.3 wow um, average rate. Casablanca uh, it's not on this list I bet it's like 13th is it no no oh wow playing. I love Casablanca as I well. thought it'd be, I've never I seen it but I know it's always like Always pretty high on the list. It's pretty good, to be fair. It's good for an old film. Oh, it's, it's, it's good. I might be cheating a bit saying it like this. Uh, is like... Because I don't know which one's which. Is there like... Uh, this isn't my answer, but it's like, is Infinity War on there or something like that? Don't don't look at me and don't give me an answer. Um, 
Yeah, that's a question. I know, but I, I'm asking Jason a question. Elliott, Infinity not giving War. you an answer. I'm giving Infinite. you a question. What else would be on that list? I started so strong. Titanic. It's no, not on the list. not going to be on the list. Why did I say that? That's going to be on Grossing. Grossing, yeah. I've yeah. got to go off IMDb. It's what people want to see. It mm, dubba. What? I, it oh, right. mm, dubba. Hmm. What is like the top rated films? I can't think of anything now. What's what's going to be on this list? Hi. What if, what's like everyone loves films? Yeah. What films do everyone love? Toy Story. It's no. Not, it's not going to be on the list. I don't no. know why I said it. No. I'm out already. I've got one. I started so strong. <laughs> okay, um, shall I give you a clue as 10? Yeah, go on then. He directs films. And he's very old. Clint Eastwood. Mm-hmm. Uh, which one would it be? Dirty Harry? No. Grand Torino? No. Come on, bigger than that. I can't think. The Good, the Bad, the Ugly? Yep. Yeah. It's not even a good film. Feel I'm going to say punk? it. I'm going to say it now. Not a very good film. God, that is a shot, isn't it? The soundtrack is better than the film. God. There you go. That's, my, that's my review me. on that film. God. It's boring. Nothing happens. There's oh, a lot of better God. westerns out there. That really that was a full shot gone fire. Well, Can go. I say... I know I've already lost. Um, the, not The Hateful Eight. Um, is there a Tarantino movie on there? Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction is number eight. With 8.9. Why didn't I think of that? Yep. I wanted to say sure. Um, I wanted to say um, Django and Chain, but I don't think that'll be on there. It'll probably be in the thirties. No. Um, Number nine is um, what I'm saved under uh, in your phone, my precious. That's what you you, you saved me. Lord of the Rings. In con- yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Fellowship of the Ring. Or- yep, that's the one. Never yep. seen them. Never seen them. Never seen them properly. That's so Star Wars on there. Star Wars not on it. Oh wow! Okay. Deadpool? Sad thing. No, no Deadpool. Didn't think it was going to be. Um, I'll, I'll give you... Iron Man. Seven. The first Iron Man. No, I'll give you number seven. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. There oh, you go. No one really wants to hear about that. Anyway. Number num- six. Number six is a very good film uh, that I don't know if you've seen. Interstellar. And I- <laughs> Can we just talk about that for a oh, minute? Oh, no. This has been going on for about, I'd say, a good ten months since the start of the year. Maybe a bit longer. Uh, figured out that Interstellar, great film. Uh, Matthew McConaughey was well, released never seen. in cinemas uh, 10 years ago in November, around his birthday, in fact. And uh, for his birthday, he really wanted to go watch it. And I'm he was livid. planning for it with Odeon and everything like that. It's main, it one head. of the main reasons I kept my Limitless at Odeon. Yeah. To and go it, watch it. it's in Odeon. Correct. It is in it Odeon. Is in Odeon. Uh, the end of September. Uh, what are you doing at the end of September, Mitchell? It's, no, 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 no. It's in it's in Odeon. I think it's the 20th to the 24th. I think it's in the 18th, the 19th, and the 20th of September. Yeah, something I like go that. on holiday on the 17th of September, and I come back on the 24th. <laughs> and I think the final... No, I, I'm wrong. It, the final showing of it is on the 23rd. So yeah. I, I miss it. So Mitch I'm livid. I'm it. absolutely livid. It's just my luck, that is. Yeah. Do you want to know the good news, though? Go on. I get to see it again. And Class. I'm buzzing for that. Buzzing, mate. Cheers. Yeah. I hope there's another show in around the 10-year actual, yeah, there actual won't be, anniversary. Yeah. There won't be, no. no. So I've got to go watch Shaun of the Dead instead. Or you watch it in Greece. I don't think there'll be an Odeon showing it in Greece. You'll be surprised. There might be. <laughs> don't think so. Um, okay. Number six. Uh, what is it then? Go on, sorry. You might as well tell me. Number six is Schneider's List. Oh, okay. Very good Sh- Schlinder, Schindler's List. Uh, sh- sorry, yes. I had... Um, Wesley Schneider. I was going to do a dyslexic <laughs> joke and I mucked right. it up entirely. <laughs> I was thinking Wesley Schindler's Schneider, list. Wesley. That's an okay um, film. Schindler, yeah. It's an okay film. Yeah. I like it. It's a good it's, film. It's okay. Uh, number five. The Pianoist. Pianist? No. Yeah. Good film, though. Um, no. Uh, 12 Angry Men. 12 Angry Men? Yeah, I think I've seen it when I was younger, but I can't. I don't, I don't even got, know what that is. I haven't got a clue what it's about. Uh, then you've got four is the Godfather part two, two is the Godfather, and number three wow. is Batman: The Dark Knight. Oh, what a film! Yeah, why didn't I think of that? So who directed that? I can see him. I can't. I can't even think of his name. He directed the whole Dark Knight trilogy. I'm pretty sure he did Interstellar as well. Yeah, I can't think of his name. Though. Oh, that's annoying. That is it. very annoying. I'm going to Google it. Do, do, shall we rattle off this final one of uh, top reasons to yeah, call in sick then. late to work? Yeah, go on then. Oh, i just give you one. I think, maybe. Did I give you one? The dog ate my No, car. no, no, no. That's... The dog <laughs> ate your car. 
Top 10 reasons to be late for work. Michael Bay. It's not Michael Bay, is it? No, what's his... What's... Who is it? Are you Googling the director? Who? The director who directed The Dark No, Knight. I'm trying to think of it. No, oh. I was looking at um, a few more tenables to do on a further episode. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Okay. I'll come back to it. Top 10 yep. reasons to be late for work. Um, cut myself shaven. Sorry, I'm just scanning through the list. Damn. These answers are stupid, by the way. Okay, okay. So they're not You're on the right line. My next one was a nosebleed, so. I'm going to say it's it's not, but just keep guessing because you're going around the right line. Okay, okay. My period started. No, no. My dog pooed. No. Go on, keep going. Car won't start. That's a generic one. No. No? No. I lost my keys. I can't find my keys because they were exactly where I left them. Oh, it's really? the sort of answers you're looking for. But okay, I'll take that. Okay. As, I'll take that. That's that's number yeah. six. Uh, I I can't find my way out of the house. Good answer, but uh, incorrect. All the lights have gone out. It's dark. Um. No, incorrect. I slipped and fell in the shower. No, incorrect. Um. Um, late for work. My something to do with alarm. I'll take that. My alarm clock and I had a disagreement, and it won. That's quite good, actually. I yeah. like that. Uh, it's got to be like getting ready, isn't it? Surely, if you getting ready, no. Um, my dog wouldn't let me leave. No. Nope. Like no. My wife. Nope. My kids. Nope. Uh, they're all like personal they're all I or my, I did something oh um, kind of like uh, sleeping no you're one that you've, you've had the alarm clock on oh okay uh, something to do with TV show I don't want to like you I'll, get it on the right lines keep, it's not keep right watching TV you, show I, I'm going to give you that one okay kind of uh, top 10 answer was I was waiting for my perfect song to finish before I could leave the house that's kind of good actually yeah, I like that there you go. yeah I like that uh I don't know. Something about a cooking, like food, breakfast. Uh, nope. No, nothing no. About right. teeth? Brush your teeth? Nope, nothing about teeth. Toilet? Nothing about the toilet. Getting changed, clothes? Nope. A mirror? Nope, nothing about the mirror. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I tied my shoelaces together. I don't know. Number nine. Number ten we've had. I was waiting for the perfect song to finish. Number nine. The Wi-Fi on my house was down and I couldn't Google how to get to work. That's quite good, actually. Number Number eight. I got caught trying to solve today's wordle. That's quite good. Yeah. Cheers, cheers. Yeah. Uh, it's number seven, you're getting along the right lines. Number seven, my coffee was too hot and I couldn't risk burning my tongue before the day before the day started. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> number six, you got couldn't find my keys because they're exactly where I left them. Nice. Number five, which I think is the best answer of all of them. There was a family of ducks crossing the road and I just couldn't rush out a duck. Yeah, that's true. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Number four, which I don't really agree with, but. You definitely won't agree with. I had to rescue a cat from a tree. Heroic. Yeah. Number three. Best answer of all. I was abducted by aliens. Oh. They returned me as soon as they realised that I wasn't I wasn't a morning person. It's quite good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, you got my alarm clock and I had a disagreement and it won. Nice. And number one, I got stuck in a time loop. Again. Ah. That's quite... I, I like ending. it. That's a bit of Never like ending, it. mate. Yeah, a bit of an interstellar joke there. Mitch does um, Well, I wouldn't know, would I? I, w- I just wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, that note, Mitch will never see Interstellar. Um, at least I, at I'm going to watch it. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Well, this has been Trimpable. Yes. I've been Mitchell Lewin and you've been Warwick, Warwick da- I mean, Joel May. Yep. So, um, yeah, beat you to that, beat you to that. Well, we both said it. But we hope you've enjoyed. If you want to see more, see more, hear more, whatever it is. Yeah, been a bit uh, different tenable. to F. I've yeah. enjoyed this, to be fair. I've enjoyed it. I've I think we might like... go through a few more. Yeah. Um, uh, game shows. shows yeah game shows yeah. stuff like that see what we can do we might even get what 24 boxes just do a whole deal or no deal by ourselves or we could you just sit know. here and watch like Friends or every episode of Friends and you guys could just listen to us listening to it yeah every time there's a fake laugh in the crowd we take a shot I think we'd be drunk by the end of episode 1 why have you made that drinking game I like it I don't because I'm not thirsty anymore anyway uh, thank you very much for listening have a lovely weekend um, that's about it from us let us know if you've got any of the tenable Yes. And which ones you got. Yeah. And if you've got any better ones that we can play. Yeah, and we would like to say, just before we go, there is a Shrimp of the Week. There is, but you can save it for next week. 
Correct. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to Shrimpable. <laughs>